Hi, welcome to today's episode of Kids Town Corner. We're gonna talk today about what is bottle rot. Yeah, it's unfor unfortunately, it's a little bit easier for us here in the office. I, I know sometimes the mom looks at us like, take my kid's bottle away at night? Are you serious? <laughs> this is gonna be complete torture for the whole family. This kid's gonna scream all night long. All right. So we realize that it's, it's, it's easier said than done, but we'll, we'll talk about what, the, what happens and, and why it's important and, and, and maybe some, some different options. So you, you've probably heard on some of our other videos where we've talked about you know nighttime just being kind of the ideal time for cavities to develop. During the day, we, we, we kind of do things that help keep our teeth clean and help keep, you've probably heard us talk about healthy um, pH levels um, in our mouth. So uh, again, um, we've talked about chewing on gum and producing saliva and the important role that saliva can play in, in stabilizing the, the acidity level in our mouths. Drinking water is one of the best things that you can do. We're, we're sitting here talking, you know, my lips are moving up against my teeth and so is my tongue. So there's just all these things that we do during the day that help keep our mouths clean without really even having to think about it too much. But at nighttime, when we're going to bed and when we're asleep, we're really not doing any of those things. We're not drinking water at night. We're not, you know, whatever saliva we do produce, uh, you know, kind of ends up on our pillow instead of on our teeth. You know, things like that that kind of create the ideal environment for, for cavities to form at night. And so you can imagine if you put your child to bed with, with a bottle full of milk and, and the, that milk and the sugar from the milk is just bathed on the teeth all night, you know, you can imagine how unhealthy that could be for your child's teeth. Yeah, for sure. I'll, I'll talk to parents about this. You know, you're essentially when they fall asleep with, with the bottle, when it's any, it's usually milk, but heaven forbid it's juice. If it's juice, stop now. <laughs> but, but if it's, uh, you know, milk, the milk itself, you know, has kind of lower amounts of sugar, but it creates the perfect environment for these bacteria to just have a big old pool party. And that, that right, this is the area where that milk pools up right up front here. Mm -hmm. And so when we talk about bottle rot, it's usually these front teeth. It's rarely the bottom ones. The bottom ones are kind of covered when they're swallowing. The tongue and cheeks kind of cover over in your lips. Those bottom teeth stay protected, but we'll see it. And, it, and we'll get kiddos in here that are barely a year old that'll have it. Um, a year old to 18 months is kind of the typical time frame, but we'll, we'll see it on these little ones that have been going to bed with the bottle and that milk's just been sitting on there all night and that bacteria is having a pool party in there and going crazy. And, and so they'll start to get these cavities on those front teeth and that just creates, you know, a whole different, you know, level of, of challenges to try and figure out, okay, we've got this little, you know, one year old to 18 month old that has all these cavities on these front teeth, how are we gonna fix them? Um, so our best, best way to take care of that is prevention. Yeah. And just not doing it. Um, you know, the, there's, there's different techniques you can do and use to, to still feed your child, but not have them fall asleep at the bottle. Right, yeah, so, so give your child the bottle, you know, as they're getting ready for bed. Then when they're, you know, you feel like they've had enough to drink, we got to get in there and and clean those teeth off, you know, get in there with the, the toothbrush. Or if they're young enough, you know, you'll hear, hear dentists talk about just wiping the teeth uh -huh. off with a cloth or whatever you need to do. But but try and really get in there when they're done with the milk and, and clean those teeth and make sure that you're getting the milk or the juice or whatever it is that they're drinking at night before bed off of those teeth and make sure that those teeth are clean before they fall asleep. Now, now this is an issue that Dr. Brett and I will encounter where, you know, parents don't necessarily understand. They hear, they hear bottle raw or they hear about, you know, sippy cups and they assume that it's the bottle or the sippy cup that's doing the, the damage to the teeth. And while there are some, you know, some effects that a, a bottle and a, a sippy cup can have on the positioning of the teeth, it's not the bottle itself that's causing the cavities. It's it's what's in the bottle. Right. And so um, your child can go to bed with a bottle full of water. We have no, no problem right. with that. So after you've cleaned their teeth from the milk or the juice or whatever it was they like to have, 
you can leave them with a bottle full of water in their crib for if they wake up and, and mm -hmm. they're, they're thirsty or something like that, that's gonna be fine for the teeth. It's the milk and the juice that's inside the bottle and inside the sippy cup that actually causes the decay. Absolutely, so hopefully you've answered what the, uh, what bottle rot is and kind of what the common causes are. Um, you know, in the dental world, we call it baby bottle tooth decay. So if you see that out there, same thing. Um, but now you know, you know, more about that. And, and ideally, you know, something like this could help, you know, watching something like this or sharing it with a friend could help them prevent their little one from having cavities. Cause you don't know if your kiddo is going to be susceptible to, to these type of cavities until it's too late. So, so best, you know, best thing you can do is prevent and, uh, you know, take some of these guidelines and, and hopefully use them. So hopefully this was useful. Uh, share it with your friends. Um, comment below, you know, any, any comments or questions you might have, and we will see you guys next time. Thanks. Thanks.